right, and cheers to the debut return match of the Alliance of Chaos Clan back onto the grids here today. All in all, I believe this was an astronomical success. Originally, I thought the underlining ideal for the clan battle here was going to be a 4 versus 4, but it was rather surprising this was able to be upgraded considerably to a complete 6 versus 6. And in that regard, that allowed a lot of players on both sides, well, I don't know exactly how many players Nemesis had available for said clan battle. However, this did allow a rather steady rotation of players on the Alliance's side in order to allow more than one person to respectively have a chance to represent the clan accordingly in the clan battle. And so in the long run of the concluding events of the clan battle, making sure that everybody in AOC would have a chance to play was key. That way it could ascertain a faster understanding of all of the players' general pros and cons and teamwork pros and cons and who works well with each other or who doesn't work well with each other. It's one of those things where you can learn about what it is you can do in a whole lot of varying situations when playing with a lot of people for the very first time and <coughs> playing with people for the very first time in a new clan or in a new outline and that was predominantly what was presented here um, even I myself was working outside of a vastly different comfort zone than what I am usually accustomed to with how I usually do my documentations of the preceding clan that I was associated with once upon a time and so doing this too it's it was a whole new experience it's like a, a new clean slate for everybody that was here a whole lot of new faces and a newfound love for something new and in trying to understand and ascertain a new clan's aspiration to the glory and what it can truly aspire to become once it becomes established and we are now on the road to doing that with having solidified the very first clan battle that this clan now has being back on the grid respectively so in reflective of the events here let us go over the first round of the clan battle that had transpired, which was the capture the flag session. That was on Nemesis's host, our map pick, which we picked on for corrosion. At first I was very concerned when the match had opened up because opening up on this map on their host in a six versus six or anything past a four versus four would be a highly excessive gambit because of the potential outline of lag that would happen with more people with differing nat types that come into a match and there's easily two to three people that were in this match that I know would lag which I was highly concerned about whether or not they would lag out of the match at any particular point in time during the totality of this clan battle which thankfully they did not so I don't have to worry about it as strongly and so the struggle then began as everybody was in becoming newly accustomed to a lot of new rules and we all and we also get a chance to see the debut of AOC's official clan medic which was AOC Heal in Peace or Shentalive 2001 and we get to see this guy prosperously take the reins of being a medic and this kid is good like seriously freaking good like he could easily give somebody like Striker or Half-Life a run for the money with how he was doing all this stuff and he's a level 15 unprimed scientist running around and pulling the same medic game and same KD of a medic just like a fully maxed out prime medic and I'm just thinking my god damn that's good and he's still got more potential to go like he hasn't even reached his full potential at all yet and he's already doing this well I see nothing but good potential coming for this young man for the most part of that clan battle all of us had spent our time on Skype talking and trying to vocalize and communicate accordingly with each shifting event that was happening throughout each round of the clan battle. Even all of the people that we were subbing in, aside from Death Guns and Happy Kid, and uh, there was one other person that did not have Skype that was not able to join us, but there was a total of about seven to eight people that were in our Skype call. And, so they were given a, and we were giving them a play-by-play -play as we were playing. That way everybody has an idea of what they're about to come into following the succession of the last series of events in the clan battle. From there, the 
for the effort was really made on AOC's part in order to keep up with Nemesis, but I really do fear that Nemesis was able to successfully overpower them a number of different times and was able to thwart a lot of successive possible captures that could have happened in our favor. But again, that can change in due time with more application and trial and error that can come. Uh, ultimately, in the finishing point of Capture the Flag, uh, AOC had lost uh, a total of 0 to 4. We were in the position to about to make a capture, but I think time ran out on us. So we couldn't even get in the 1. And so we lost that one 0 to 4. Next, we go into the second round of the clan battle, which is going to be the Conquest game mode. This was on the Alliance's host. I... I do recollect, I believe it was the Alliance's host. Uh, since there wasn't anybody else that could connect to anybody else's host other than mine, so they wanted to represent me as the corresponding person in which to host that session of it, so I went on ahead and did comply. That opened on Array. That was a 500 point gap. That's. The Conquest game mode, in my opinion, is honestly the, the biggest highlight of the whole clan battle as that was a very highly fought and very intensely fought match. And it went back and forth and back and forth. Right out the gate, actually, the Alliance had the opening had the opening lead against Nemesis until Nemesis was able to challenge it. And then it went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until they were able to hold the lead and then we had to take the lead back from them. Throughout the amidst all of this, Shadow and Grimms were able to make a lot of really good callouts on how do we can try and successfully keep the double teaming and the buddy system working. And this was an effective play of the buddy system which used to be continually implicated amidst the tech training once upon a time. And so the facet of the buddy system actually successfully working was very, very notable. In addition to this, the callouts that the majority of people made in advance and where they were going which knows they were going to allowed a lot of very nice pairings to go and stay in tune and intertwined and allowed us to keep switching off back and forth which didn't put a continual strain on the medic and it at some points even allowed us to even ascertain a double cap back and forth although I know there was a point where they got the triple cap and that's what put the lead in their favor for a good amount of time which allowed them to solidify it ultimately I believe and for the very first shot, it was a very closely fought match. A very well fought match that was very, very close. We lost, AOC lost that, bat, lost that match to Nemesis in Conquest by only approximately 20 points. And that's just an astronomical amount of beautiful effort. And with a better application of the buddy system and working together, I can see that score easily being the other way around. By a very close margin, but the other way around. And then last but not least was the round three, which was Team Deathmatch. Which as soon as our host had picked, our, our persons had picked Spire, it was already going to be a dead game. Because whoever it is that gets to center map first, controls the totality of the entire match, and that's precisely what happened. The entire pace, the momentum of the whole match was to their favor. Whoever it is that controls the center of the map controls the pace of the entire match, and that's what happened the whole time. We were fighting at their pace, and they were astronomically aggressive from start to finish, where AOC was barely able to get in any kills at all. And before you knew it, the match was just over so unbelievably freaking fast, like, damn. Me, personally, I've actually had my ass kicked even faster than that. Because the clock registration for this match was at 4 minutes and 55 seconds and 29th of a millisecond. I mean, that's a pretty fast ass whooping, I will admit. But Elite Overlords actually did it even faster. So, I'm, I've... I've been destroyed by the best of the best, but I will say that that was a pretty fast match, I tell you what, Bobby. All in all, in terms of the clan battle itself, that is about the size of it. 
there was a lot I wanted to try and review in going over this, but when I actually take a look back at it at the pros and the cons, there really wasn't that many cons to take a look at. It was mainly just trying to ascertain teamwork as this was the Alliance's very first clan battle back onto the Fall of Cybertron servers. And so that way everybody can appropriately settle into the foundation of what's to be our new norm here and how everybody can get along with everybody. And then from here, how everybody can slowly begin to improve and study their own faults and lackings in order to respectfully cover or fill in those gaps that are a lack thereof for their own continued growth in enjoying the gameplay online that is offered in the competitive scene as such. And growth will happen over time as the clan battles will happen and the competition continues to escalate as it should. Also, as a finishing point for this, and then I will conclude my documentation of this clan battle, is for the Alliance. The facet of using Skype as our main means of communications was a very, very smart move. I will give my props where it is due. Grimwave, Swifty Mong's Shadow. That was a very, very smart move in applying Skype to our forms of communications. This eliminates the possible setbacks of mic glitches that happen in game if you're on a laggy host or if someone lags in and lags out or if they're experiencing lag anything of those factors that make it difficult to hear people in and out the whole time. Skype eliminates all of those communication setbacks as a whole because everybody that you're talking to is here in the call and everybody who's to come in is also here potentially in the call and you can make call outs as you will in advance. It, it leads to a vast amount of good coordination and I like the fact of you guys using that to your advantage and in a sense using what it is that Dark Mount Gaming had done beforehand which was a clan before our time now that utilized the same form of general overhead communications during clan battles or during the clan wars and so I find that to be a very very nice move that you guys did and can continue to use for better communications through the harder clan battles yet to come on the horizon Good job, Alliance. Very good job indeed. For any more questions, comments, or concerns, by all means, place them down below. And stay tuned to the next battle that the Alliance will face on the horizon. Y'all have a good one. And as always, till all are one.